Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about introduction to trigonometry. Trigonometry is the study of properties of triangles and trig functions under applications. Trig is used to find the missing side of a right triangle when only one side and given in the problem along with an angle. So one side and an angle is given. Let us uh, familiarize ourselves with uh, some basic words that we need to be using as we go. One is reference angle. Reference angle is the angle in discussion. So if you take a look at the um, figure in the bottom, angle A is referred to as our reference angle. The next word is opposite. So opposite is the side across from the angle. So if we are talking about angle A is the reference angle, opposite to that angle is side or uh, segment CB. So segment CB is opposite to angle A. The next word is adjacent. And adjacent is the side that touches the reference angle and the and it is um, not the hypotenuse. So if we consider this figure, so segments AC or segment a, uh, CA is adjacent to angle A. So hypotenuse will always be, always be the opposite of the right angle. So that would be this right here and opposite to that is hypotenuse, which is the longest side. Let's use this uh, basic knowledge to try and look at this. Okay, so difference between a uh, Pythagorean theorem is when Pythagorean theorem we're given with sides and we substitute the, the measurements of those sides into the formula the, uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find the uh, missing side. So, um, for trig example, if you notice, we are given with an angle and a side. Okay, so depending on whatever is asked, in this case, we're asked to find K, which is the hypotenuse. We can't use Pythagorean theorem with this, so that's why trig exists. Let's try and use uh, the concept that we just learned to determine or find the answers to this problem. So determine the correct side based on the reference angle. So for the first example, reference angle is R, angle R. And so opposite of angle R is segment GT or TG. Adjacent side of angle R is segment GR, uh, GR or RG, while hypotenuse is segment TR or RT. Example number two, the reference angle is M. Opposite to M is segment uh, GH or HG. Adjacent side is segment GM or MG. While hypotenuse is segment MH or HM. The third example we have angle C as reference. Angle C opposite side is um, segment AB or BA. Adjacent side is segment CB or BC. While hypotenuse is segment a AC or CA. Okay. Well, I need you, if you could please try this problem right here on your own, but let us try an example, okay? So label the sides of the triangles below with O for opposite, A for adjacent, and H for hypotenuse. Let's check for understanding. So let's try number one, together. So we have here the reference angle, so opposite to this is, uh, the opposite side is obviously the opposite. Opposite to the right angle is your hypotenuse H and the remaining side, which 
touches or intersect, they give uh, a reference angle is adjacent. So here you go. Go ahead and try the rest of the problem. Okay, well, hopefully you have tried answering this. Um, let us check the answer. All right, we will be using this concept in order for us to be able to try um, and answer uh, or build a trig ratio. So this time we're on... Uh, trigonometric ratio. So if you notice on the left hand side, we have form, um, we have a formula, three of them, actually there's three more, but we're going to, today we're going to focus on these three. So uh, this symbol is uh, a Greek letter, um, which is called theta, and we're going to use theta to represent an angle. There are other Greek letters, but for now, we'll focus on theta. So the reference angle, which is angle theta, um, we have for the first one is sine opposite over hypotenuse. If you notice, um, that is very specific as a formula that we could use, but in there is an acronym name to rep, uh, represent and help will help us. So saw, so sine opposite over hypotenuse. Then the next one is cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. That also has an acronym which is CA. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And the last one, okay, so tangent, tangent, so that would represent TOA, so tangent opposite over adjacent. Again, so katoa is the way to go. All right, let's use this concept to try and answer these right here. Let's calculate the listed ratio, simplify when possible. So sine t is our ref or the t is our reference angle. T is a reference angle. So let's label the sides um, given that t is the reference angle. So this uh, 12 is opposite. 13 is H, um, and 5 is our adjacent. So sine T, um, remember, sine is a saw opposite over hypotenuse. So I'll substitute um, 12 for O and 13 for H. Uh, we can't simplify this any further. So we're gonna keep our answer as 12 over 13. Now, ca, cosine t is a over h. So we're gonna substitute five for a and 13 for h. And again, we can't simplify five over 13, so we're, that's going to be our final answer. And the last one is tangent t. So that would be toa, so o over a substitute um, 12 for O and 5 for A, so 12 over 5. So we can simplify this into um, mixed number or a decimal number, but we're just going to keep this. We can't simplify it into a smaller possible fraction. Let's try number 2. Our reference ang um, angle for number two is angle H. So H is the reference angle. Let's label the sides according to the reference angle. So we have six, which would be O opposite. Eight is A and 10 is H. Let's substitute these um, values to um, whatever is asked, uh, sine h is saw, so opposite is 6 over 10. So simplifying 6 over 10, that would be 3 over 5. Cosine h is a over h, and so 
A is 8 and H is 10. Simplifying this, that would be 4 over 5. And the last one is TOA, so opposite over um, adjacent. So we have 6 over 8, which would be 3 fourths when simplified. Okay, let's try and practice this problem with this given um, problems right here. Let's try it again. Okay, so in this case, we are asked to find tangent z. So tan tangent z and this, this angle, our reference angle, 21 is O, 28 is A, and 35 is H. And tan g, I mean z, um, tangent, that's TOA. That's TOA. So opposite over adjacent. So we have 21 over adjacent, which is 28. So if we simplify 21 over 28, that will give us tangent Z equals 3 fourths. And the last one, which is cosine C, um, a reference angle is C. So 30 is O, 34 is H, and 16 is A. So cosine refers to the um, uh, ka in um, our formula. So we are going to write cosine C equals adjacent over H. And adjacent side is 16. Hypotenuse is 34. Simplifying 16 over 34, that should give us 4 fifths. I hope you find value in this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.